Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Sustainable Scoop. It's time again to register for the Northern Virginia Senior Olympics. Yeah. From Bunko <laughs> to Croquet, there is an event and a challenge for everyone. Joining me today is my favorite guest, Charles Tolstoy. He is an emeritus of the Senior Olympics, a champion himself. Welcome, Charles. Good to be here. Yeah, nice Always. to have you back. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, is it registration time? Yeah, it's registration time. As a matter of fact, the deadline is August 20th, mm -hmm. if you mail it in. Uh, online, and they'll show you on the screen how to do that, uh, is uh, August 24th. But it, it's uh, September 15th to September 26th. On the 15th is the grand opening and it's at Thomas Jefferson Community Center. The torch. And it, and yeah, it's really one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have a person go around the, the track with the torch, uh, the honor guards there with the flags, the national anthem. And it's really good, even if you're not a participant, it's really to good. come out because they got a lot of exhibits, free massage. Nice. The whole nice. work. <laughs> Sounds so like a good time. It, it's really an exciting uh, opening. Well, you know, the thing about Arlington is all the good things get kept for seniors. So, how old do you have to be to qualify for this? Okay. Uh, <laughs> 50 plus. Okay. So you've got a long way to go. Not so much. Okay, 50 plus. I'm there. <laughs> Just made it. Okay. Yeah. But but okay. also, uh, it's it's people who are 50, very active, but also people with all kinds of backgrounds, even those people that are medically challenged, yeah, that, but want to participate in That's a good point, people. because I wanted to talk about that tonight, and we really never have. But people that are in retirement communities, and there's 49 of them in Northern Virginia, all over the place. And if they're watching this, they can participate. Let me give you a few of the sort of things that they could do. Okay. They could do uh, wee bowling. Oh, that's fun. Uh, duplicate bridge, and we had a woman 100 years old last year win a gold medal oh in gosh. duplicate that bridge. That is crazy. Okay? I would be an Cribbage, <laughs> uh, dominoes, Cribbage. Mexican train. Mexican train is the only way to go. I see. Okay. Uh, Maja. Oh. Uh, and uh, Scrabble, and a new one uh, this year, Canasta. Oh, but wonderful. there's 50 events, all kinds, of course, uh, track and field, you know, Cycling, the standard, basketball. standard thing. But this other stuff is a lot of fun, and people it's could a, be mentally training for it right now. They could. It's They're a lot, lot of fun. I mean, uh, and one of the things here is that this isn't for like former Olympians or anything. This is fun. You get to meet really nice people, too. So, uh, some of the uh, places that I was thinking about, if they're listening, um, Burke Health Rehab Center, the Jefferson, Green Spring, Fair Ridge, Goodwin House. Oh, yes, definitely. You know that. Westminster, the Fairfax, Hermitage, Potomac Green. The thing is, there's a lot more, uh, and those people could be participants. I'd like to see a hundred of those People from Medically our, challenged sure. people go ahead and participate in it. It, it kind of gets you going. Well, you not know? just that, but I mean, you're mastering your abilities. I mean, so you may not have abilities in one area, but there are other areas where you really well, can thrive. Well, that's right. And, and then, it, go ahead. Well, well I want to know why it, it's hard to come out of your shell when you get a little older yeah. and you might become a little bit more introverted. Why is it important to participate in things like this? I, I think it uh, gives you a challenge. You know, and and you want to see some of these people at these adult centers I go to because I go to them a lot. Boy, they're playing Maja. They're playing Canasta. They're serious. And I mean, they're playing for keeps. <laughs> my, my, listen, my dad played cribbage two weeks before he passed away, and he cursed right through it. He cursed the cards. He cursed. I mean, I certainly yeah. hope he said his prayers. My father was a wonderful wonderful cribbage player who's a champ okay. but it, all right though no, let me let me just let me just say yeah, one thing because people want to know where these events are ha where they're taking yeah, place okay. but actually where they're taking place is the, a lot of the groups that are sponsoring you so Arlington yeah. County the city of Alexandria the city of Falls Church Loudoun County's Department of Parks and Recs Fairfax Department of Neighborhood and Community Services Fairfax County Fauquier County Prince William County so Everywhere there's an event for yeah, people. So I'm really glad you covered that because we appreciate, you know, I'm on the executive committee uh, of the Northern Virginia Senior Olympic, and we really appreciate those sponsors. I mean, they do a lot, and uh, they're kind of unsung heroes. Absolutely. And we do have gold patrons, silver patrons, too, 
that uh, contribute towards it. And uh, we, uh, we, we appreciate them too. Oh, I'm sure the participants appreciate yeah. it too. So what but, is the deadline? What, so what is the deadline for registration? Yeah, let, okay, the deadline is uh, if you mail it in and there's uh, these forms, or hold it up and maybe they can shoot it. Okay. Uh, there's this b little booklet, it's a registration form and you can pick them up at adult centers or wherever and I know on the screen they're showing the information number to call. And I saw that there's even a place for scholarships. So yeah. if you have a difficulty with the fee, don't feel like you can't participate, you absolutely can. That's, That's why right. you have all those sponsors, And if you right? want to volunteer, too. Volunteer. You know, sometimes people volunteer to help out in events and get to see what it's like, and then they see how neat it is, and then before you know it, they're a participant. But, but it's for everybody. Because our whole mission of the Senior Olympics is for health, for older people, and, and friendship, you know, developing new friends. And I've made wonderful friends. And all these, all these people are from diverse backgrounds. It's and that's true. what makes it fun. It's true. It is our melting pot. Northern Virginia yeah, is melting, wonderful. That's right. So, yeah. so is there a website? Yeah, I think they're going to shoot it on the screen. Okay, so we've yeah. got the website up on the screen, yeah. and we start September uh, 15th. 15th is the big kickoff. To the 26th. Wonderful. Now, now the yep. reason, do we no. have to close? We, no, we got to wrap okay, it up. Okay, we're running out of time. 15th <laughs> to the 26th. reason is there's 50 venues, uh, okay. so we spread them out, okay? Uh, and so it's really cool. So I'll see you at at least one of them, maybe two. Yeah. I want to check out basketball. Okay, right, All right, right. Thanks so much You'll for coming. You'll win gold. Yeah, I oh, can't wait. Oh, did they get the medals? Oh, yes. Okay. Let's, don't forget the medals. Yeah. I want one of those in a year or two. Yeah. And I want to thank all of you for watching another <laughs> edition of the Sustainable Scoop. I'm Miriam Gennari. Back to the news desk. Hi, I'm Miriam Gennari. Like most women today, I'm always on the go. As a mother, I'm cautious, knowing everything I do is seen through the eyes of my children. I host a weekly news show about environmental issues. If you're concerned about ecological issues in Arlington that affect your life, you'll want to watch The Sustainable Scoop. I thought I was a pretty good recycler, yet I was overwhelmed by all the packaging used in a day, from wine deliveries to takeout containers. It's hard to avoid. Thankfully, Recycling most items is pretty easy, except one, expanded polystyrene, commonly known as styrofoam. Bottles, cardboard, and glass can all be recycled in my community's single stream program. Items are collected, sorted, and eventually baled for use in the robust secondary market that generates a whopping 90 billion annually. So why can't I recycle styrofoam? There's so much of it. By some estimates, 30% of landfill space is styrofoam. And when littered, it breaks apart into little tiny pieces that are near impossible to recover. And there are health concerns too. It is possible for tiny amounts of styrene to leach out of styrofoam and into food. High heat can increase the possibility of leaching. I was confused and overwhelmed by the problem and definitely concerned. One thing I realized, no one is able to agree on how to get rid of it. Expanded polystyrene products, they are recyclable. Mostly not recyclable. All this is recyclable. There is no way you can environmentally get rid of polystyrene foam. Kind of a nuisance. If you see it, on the, it doesn't go away. It doesn't biodegrade. Most of it is not recyclable. When I was a child, I used to chew styrofoam. I know in my household, we don't use styrofoam. The styrofoam is not pleasant to look. Ban it, burn it, put it in a landfill, or is there another answer, one we can all live with? I reached out for the easy answer and fell head first into what became a passion and an obsession. I'm not sure how I got here or where the path will lead. Please join me on my journey as I cautiously read between the lines because just like styrofoam, I'm not going away.